SpaceX encapsulates NASA DART spacecraft for first interplanetary Falcon 9 launch. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the DART spacecraft. So without any further ado, let's begin. Now, do you know how dinosaurs became extinct? As we've studied, there was an asteroid which was larger than a city and that crashed down into Earth and the impact created by it wiped out the existence of dinosaurs. Obviously, we all know that, but do you know that there are many more asteroids like that which have the potential to move and then remove the existence of humans? Well, nobody wants that, right? So that is why scientists plan to destroy such asteroids which would be dangerous to Earth in the upcoming years. And for that, a spacecraft by NASA named DART mission was launched, whose main purpose was to see how difficult it would be to stop a huge space rock from colliding with Earth. NASA said that SpaceX has finished encapsulating its double asteroid redirection test, or DART, spacecraft inside a Falcon 9 and had opened up its West Coast launch pad hangar to give VIPs and mission team members a tour of their rocket. But as we all know that asteroids are the leftover building blocks of the solar system and in the extremely rare event if a space rock's path around the sun crosses that of the earth so that the other two objects can intersect at the same time then a collusion may occur. So to deal with this the idea was to crash a spacecraft into two objects called Dimophores and Didymos. The larger one of the two objects is Didymos which is measured up to around 780 meters while the smaller one named Dimophores is around 160 meters wide. However, reports claimed that Dimophores' size could explode with many times the energy of a typical nuclear bomb, which can devastate populated areas and causing tens and thousands of casualties. And asteroids with a diameter of 300 meters and larger could cause continent-wide destruction, while those which are bigger than 100 kilometers would produce worldwide effects. So you can see how much destruction these rocks can create. However, on this Wednesday, a Falcon 9 rocket carrying the DART spacecraft blasted off from Vandenberg Space Force Space in California. And it was the first attempt to deflect an asteroid for the purpose of learning how to protect Earth through this particular asteroid. Presents no threat until now. But who knows when the time will come. However, the Falcon was measured to be 70 meters tall and weighed over 550 metric tons while fully fueled and it was capable of producing more than 775 tons of thrust at liftoff. While there are multiple conflicting reports of the spacecraft's launch mass and it will likely weigh between 600 and 650 kg and a minuscule of 0.1% of the rocket's total mass at liftoff and in simpler terms the Falcon 9 launching dart is a bit like a semi-truck carrying a single piece of wood. Notably, Falcon 9's DART launch ultimately cost NASA about $73 million, which is about a quarter of the mission's total $250 million cost. And if there were, it might theoretically cost NASA nearly $20 million to launch DART due to the reusability of Falcon 9. But at the same time, it will also take years for any of the new small mid-sized rockets that might have enough performance to establish a track record of reliability which means that NASA would have to accept significant risk for that potential discount. And additionally, despite the potential to save another 30 to 50 million dollars, NASA is still saving at least 80 to 100 million dollars by launching on Falcon 9 rocket rather than the United Launch Alliance's ULA cheapest Atlas V which offered NASA around 150 to 175 million dollars in recent years. However, so far SpaceX says it plans to test some of its rockets to destruction to see what the upper limit might be and last year Musk guessed that it might be possible to push them past 100 missions with some replacements or upgrades of parts. And along with that, SpaceX has also launched two similar tiny NASA payloads to very high orbits of 300k and 900k meters away from the Earth back in 2015 and 2018. But apart from that, the 325 meter DART mission will target a pair of asteroids that are closely orbiting each other, which is known as binary. And after escaping from Earth's gravity, the Falcon 9's expendable upper stage will ultimately boost the small spacecraft and after the DART, will follow its own orbit around the Sun and then it will intercept the binary as it approaches within 6.7 million miles of Earth in September 2022. Then ultimately, the DART will smash into the Dimophores at a speed of around 6.6 .6 kilometers per second. However, this should change the speed of the object by a fraction of a millimeter per second and also it will alter its orbit around Didymos. 
Though it sounds like a very small shift, it could just be enough to knock an object off collision course with Earth. There are a lot of small asteroids that are there as large ones and so most likely asteroids threat we ever have to face, if we ever have to face one, is probably going to be from an asteroid around this size. However, back in 2005, Congress directed NASA to discover and track 90% of near-Earth asteroids which are larger than 140 meters and no one knows asteroids in this category pose an immediate threat to Earth. That much but only an estimated 40% of those objects have actually been found which are nearly 24,000 and there are significant chances that they can collide with Earth in the next 100 years. But talking about DART, it carries a camera called Draco which will provide images of both asteroids and help the spacecraft point itself in the correct direction to collide with Dimophores. And about 10 days before DART hits its target, the American spacecraft will deploy a small Italian-built satellite called the Sia Cube. The smaller craft will send back images of the impact. So it's a kind of a messenger satellite. However, the tiny change in Dimophores' path around Didymos will be measured by telescopes on Earth. And Binary is a perfect natural laboratory for such a test because the impact should change Dimophore's orbit around Didymos by roughly 1%, which is a change that can be detected by ground telescopes in weeks or maybe months. But if DART were to slam into a lone asteroid, then its orbital period around the Sun would change by about 0.000006%, which would take many years to measure from a ground telescope. However, the binary is so small that even with the most powerful telescopes, it appears as a single point of light. However, Dimophores blocks some of the Didymos' reflected light as it passes in front while the opposite occurs when a smaller object moves behind its bigger companion. But there's a degree of uncertainty over how Dimophores will respond to the impact because its interior structure isn't known well. So if Dimophores is relatively solid inside rather than full of spaces, so it might produce lots of debris, which would give the object an extra push, which can provide a lot of benefit to the Earth. And if it becomes successful, then DART will provide that kinetic impactors offer a viable way to change the course of asteroids and comets. But there are other ideas, including moving the asteroid more slowly over time and even detonating a nuclear bomb like shown in the movies. And with rockets like the Falcon 9 which can carry a lot of weight, it could be easy to carry more than just a few nuclear bombs to carry on a rocket, which could clear the space for Earth and make it safe for the next millions of years. Although all these methods can potentially change the way for the creation of a true planetary defense program. But that was us who are thinking like this. What do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it for the day guys. Thank you for watching the video and we hope that you liked this video. If you did then leave a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. And also guys don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss any updates from us. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.